We've all had these moments in Genshin where we've become so burnt out that we start randomly shooting, running, or doing whatever cures the average Genshin player's mind. Today I'm going to be breaking down three large aspects that lead to burnout in Genshin and ultimately how to enjoy Genshin more. And at the end, I'll include a free online tool that I personally use, not sponsored by the way, that you can use to help prevent your burnout in Genshin. Let's start with the word that many of us have heard as Genshin players, the word meta. This is essentially just media promoting the use of certain characters characters and teams. So why is this bad? This is bad because it can make many teams and characters feel completely worthless or incomplete, especially to new players who haven't been playing very long. Many people, including you, have probably not consciously, but have chosen to skip a character you thought was cool or not build a certain character because you have seen TikToks, YouTube videos, etc. on that certain character, right? Like choosing not to build Deha, like not pulling for showers, like not building all hate them because it's just danger. Meta has to find us whether we choose to accept it or not, choosing who we build or pull for. You may be thinking here, Adrian, get to your damn point. My point is this, many people get burnt out in Genshin, including myself, due to feeling trapped with a certain team or certain characters. And while these meta teams are probably strong looking at you, Hyper Bloom, it's not fun to roleplay as an electrifying gardener to about 75% of Genshin players. What I do to combat feeling this pressure from the media is to truly play the game and build what I want based off the story rather than strength. So especially to our newer players, think about what characters you build before you build that free-to-play Hyperbloom team, as Genshin is a relatively easy game to get through with almost any combination of characters. Which brings us to our next point. Genshin is a relatively easy game to play and complete. While this is 100% true, it may not be true if you cannot properly build your characters. It doesn't mean to go build your next characters however the online wiki tells you to. You should be leveling characters, weapons, artifacts, talents, etc. If you're not able to build all four of these aspects, which you so you need all four, you will struggle fully with Genshin, just like I did when I somehow brought my level 27 Ning Guang, who ended up making it all the way to Inazuma with level 3 artifacts. Point being, if you do not properly build your characters, which you do not have to be the strongest or most meta-based, you simply will not enjoy clear content, which most certainly would lead to burnout, just like it led to burnout for me. The last important and commonly overlooked Genshin aspect that leads many, especially older players, to burnout is improper planning. And you're probably thinking to yourself, it's a game, what the hell am I planning for? Just hear me out. Being able to plan in Genshin will make more enjoyable experience for you as you will give yourself clear stone goals on what you would like to achieve. Being able to give yourself a goal may not sound like something that will prevent burnout, but it does. Being able to give yourself a clear set goal on what you would like to achieve, even if it's just as simple as making a team with all your favorite characters level 90 or something comparable, will make logging onto Genshin more enjoyable as a step towards that goal and rather than just a daily grind. To sum up what causes burning out when it comes to Genshin is the following following of meta rather than following story, not building characters properly, and not creating a plan. But if you only take one sentence away from this video, it would be to play the game the way you want to play the game. And as promised, the free online resource that I personally use, not sponsored by the way, is GenshinCenter.com, which helps me plan out my next steps to keep actively interacting with Genshin and prevents my burnout. I'll link this down below, and by the way, I do not get paid in any way to include this in my video or description. When it comes to Genshin, there simply is no correct way to play. Just make sure you build whatever characters you choose and take a second to enjoy the beautiful Teyvat scenery and taste some of that beautiful Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember.